In this video, we will discuss and demonstrate the flick sign for carpal tunnel syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. We have covered several tests for carpal tunnel syndrome, as well as its differential diagnosis here on our channel. Most of the individual provocation tests only yield weak diagnostic accuracy, and the best available tools we have is a thorough patient history and clustered findings, such as proposed by Weiner et al. in 2005. Weiner also included the flick sign in their clinical prediction rule, so let's look at its individual validity in detail. A systematic review by Darcy et al. in 2000 references diagnostic accuracy findings of the original proponent of the flick sign, which was Price Phillips in the year 1984. In the original study, the flick sign yielded a sensitivity of 93% and specificity of 96%. These findings have been critiqued by colleagues who were not able to reproduce them in similar study designs shortly after the original publication. In 2004, Hansen and colleagues re-evaluated the flick sign in their diagnostic accuracy study and also found a sensitivity of 37 and specificity of 74%, thus echoing the overall weak clinical value of the flick sign in the diagnosis of carpal tunnel syndrome. The flick sign is more of a patient history finding than it is a special test. Essentially, you want to know whether the patient flicks the affected hand in order to ease symptoms such as pain and paresthesia. Just imagine a hand motion such as when shaking down a thermometer. Shaking the hands and wrist should reduce symptoms of carpal tunnel syndrome in order for the flick sign to be present or positive. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. You can check many other assessments for carpal tunnel syndrome in the playlist to my left. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a differential diagnosis of cervical radiculopathy as well. So if you want to improve your clinical reasoning in physiotherapy of the spine, check out our online course. The link is in the video description down below. As always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in another video. Bye.